Leslie has found another issue. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna pick out. Somebody got a phone call. Um, so here's the plan. We're gonna pick out a random fifth wheel. Okay. And go inside and see if there's any issues, like glaring issues. Cause it seems like even at dealerships, you go inside, there's like glaring issues. And you're like, why is this open for people to see? So let's see how well that this particular camping world is doing with either getting their stuff in and fixing it before they put it on display or whether they're just parking them and either hoping nobody notices or going, oh yeah, we'll have that fixed. Well, yeah, if this is the one you want, we'll fix everything yeah. before you take possession. So what, which brand? Service Darlene, has a phone call too. get to the phone already. Dang it, Darlene. <sighs> Answer the phone. <laughs> Trying to blog here. Um, which one you want to go into randomly? Now let's pick. Let's pick a, a nice one. Let's not pick like a. I don't want to say any brands because I don't want to offend anybody. But let's not pick like a low end. Th let's pick like what would be considered a like luxury or high end fifth wheel. Well, here we're limited, so that would have to be a Montana. A Montana. They do have some Cedar Creeks over there. Oh yeah, if the Cedar Creek is open, because that one looked intriguing to me. If that one's open, yeah, we could go look at that. Because we know Montana really well. We do. We know so we really kind of know well. what to look for, so I feel like that's a disadvantage, because we know where to look for stuff that goes hokey. Yeah. But we really don't know in a, in a Cedar Creek. Very true. So we're going to be like the lay person walking in the Cedar Creek and seeing how many manufacturer defects that we can find. Just not, I'm not talking about like deep dive, looking for stuff. No. Just I'm just saying just like to the naked eye, the naked eye the obviously up. screwed up. Okay. All right, let's pick one. We found our mark. Our mark is this 38 EBS Cedar Creek Champagne, which is supposed to be really nice. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be nice. We coaches. haven't been inside yet, but we are going to see. How many are you guessing? How many issues, glaring, obvious issues, do you think that we'll find? I don't know. I mean, they're hit or miss. I say three. three. Oh. <laughs> hey, we didn't plan that. All right, we'll start the count once we get inside. And then, are we gonna look through like cargo bays and stuff too, or just the inside? Well, if we're only looking for problems, okay. probably only need the inside. All right, we, we we might show you some of the storage stuff too, but we will definitely show you the inside and see what we can find as issues. Okay. All right, here we go. Ooh. Did you already see stuff? No, it's oh. just nice. This is <laughs> nice. Like, oh, she already sees messed up stuff. Oh, I think I like it. <sighs> Great. <laughs> I like this. I like the stairs are on this side. Okay, so obviously there's an issue and I don't know where it belongs. What is it? This. Oh, what is this thing? This is a cover of some kind or part maybe of the table. Leaf. Maybe it's a table leaf. It might be a table leaf. It probably is. So maybe it's not an issue. Well, it's not attached and the door was unlocked for viewing. It's an issue. Yeah, that should be at least hidden. All right, what do you not like? Okay. Well, it's just me personally. Like, I'm loving everything, mm -hmm. but it's a cedar creek. So I'm thinking it should be... What do you like, prejudice against cedar creek? No, I'm saying it's cedar creek, so I expect more. Oh, okay. So... I think cedar creek could do soft clothes instead of the metal. Yeah. That doesn't count as a... Yeah, because I mean, I'm not saying I was like that, and that's a luxury coach, too. Yeah. But this. Yeah, that it, trim looks unfinished right there. Like, yeah. and you can well, see. Well, you're the, seeing the bottom and you, you see, see the, the nails. See the nails hanging out there? It's on both. Like, yeah. looks like. It here, looks like they put the. Right here, the trim is missing. Oh, the trim is missing. So they didn't. It's supposed to go all the way around. It's not there. trimmed out. I thought that maybe they had got this in backwards and, and got the no. finished side on the other side. Like when you put. <laughs> like when you put IKEA furniture together and you got that one where you put in backwards, then you get it all together and you're like, oh my God, the unfinished board. He uses that as an example because that's what happened with Agato's desk. <laughs> True. <laughs> I had to take the whole, whole thing back apart <laughs> to put it back One together. Board. But it does look like there is some kind of a trim that's supposed to be there. That's um, supposed to go all the way around. Right, and then so. right there too, it's supposed to go that, around that whole corner. It's just totally missing. 
Yeah. So, so that's two. one. Oh, no, two, two because of the leaf. We're on two. Yeah, that's two already. And we're just still in the living room. Yeah. Yeah, so I noticed that this drawer is a little bit out. And I went to go kick it in to push it in. Oh, it's, it's, it's stuck. It's either off the track or it's broken somehow. Uh -huh. We got three. So that's three already. I think that is cute as hell, though, that little, little wine, wine thing. chiller. Yeah, that's very cool. Very cute touches. But, uh, three. yeah. I don't think our prediction is going to hold up. We're already at number three. We're not out of the living room yet. And we'll be all right. We might be all right. Headed upstairs. There is a uh, there's a little piece of trim right down here that's coming loose. Yep, there's four. I love the use of a pocket door. Yeah. I don't know why they're not all pocket doors. Yeah, I like that the latch is down here. That's cool. Yeah. This is a cool shower. Look at this drain. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is cool. Just it's got running. a little rail there to put all your shampoos and all your stuff. And then a couple little, little shelves. shelves up there. It's nice. I like it. Are there any glaring issues? What about that drawer right there? Is that going to close? Oh, oh it's not going to close. Bye. <laughs> Dang. We misjudged. <laughs> yeah, we're not like actively opening and closing all of the drawers no, either. No, because there could be more. Yeah. But we just, but we're just saw, I noticed that that one was out. So Everything is to the eye. Yeah, I do like this setup back here. This is very cool. It's got a little seating area. The big window in the in the back. <sighs> it's but so that's normally where your closet would go. I don't think I'm a big fan of this TV being like here or diagonal at you. I'd rather it be like facing me from somewhere from over here. It does give you, you do have some wardrobe space over here. Yeah, that's and closet. you have another space over here which is probably washer dryer that is probably washer dryer but even though they take away your closet they do give you some space there's some storage down here i'm sure there's some storage under the bed um lots of space in here i do like how this is like just arched it looks very clean and very like upscale yeah i like it i'm not a fan of the carpet yeah anywhere i think they probably could have made this they probably could have made this flush To the ground well it probably has to do with storage. might have to do with storage outside i don't know if so i don't like that the wood down here this wood right here it just ends i don't know if that's supposed to be like that it's supposed to be finished all the way across there is the most is there supposed to be another board there and it just ends because there's i don't know that's an excellent question i don't know so that might be number six i just don't know yeah we don't know what norm it looks like we'd have to 360 it online yeah, that's true. I will look it up online and see what the images online look like and if there is a board all the way across there That will be number but six. I, overall, I like it. Yeah, I do like it Leslie has found another issue There's a there's a shelf down here. That's having some significant issues it's, Yeah, it's locked in there too and it's I don't, want to break I don't know. Oh, it looks like oh this right here. I think I think this wood right here is the trim that is the trim the that goes down here. Okay. So that is number six, and that's that number seven. seven. Wow, we were off. I gave them too much credit. We did give them a lot of credit. Oh, and then the little niche right there, so that pocket door will fit through when you close it. Close that door real fast. Do I Ace Ventura? Ah. 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 <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> I'm digging the wide stairs. The wide stairs are awesome. I love the stairs on that side. Yeah. And we're a fan because our stairs are on this side now. When we were in the Montana, our stairs were on that side as soon as you walked in. And now in our Alliance, they're on this side. I like the stairs Confirm. being on this side better. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. Overall, it's a nice coach. It is very nice. And the things that we did find, probably very easy to repair. The point is, there's broken stuff in almost every rig you walk into. Doesn't yeah. matter. The, the level of luxury doesn't matter the price right doesn't matter the dealership you go to generally yeah. speaking when you walk into any rig usa there's problems broken stuff yeah which i think they should fix before they open them up and start showing them because in now my, but i'm thinking i agree completely but i have a feeling the reason they're not is because of the manpower well the manpower too and i've also heard and tell me if you've heard this before i've also heard that the some of the manufacturers won't fix it under warranty until it's until owned it by it. someone oh 
So the dealership can can't. fix it, but won't get money for Reimbursed it. Reimbursed Because it. it's not technically theirs, to, theirs fix. to fix. It's not under warranty yet. So once you sign the paperwork, you get the warranty going, then you can you can purchase your rig and leave it here. They'll fix it under warranty. You pick it back up. Okay. The downfall is you have to see these items, know that they were broken at some point. At some point, and so that is a little bit of a of a detractor for me, because I, oh, I always have it in my mind when I walk past that that was broken when we first got yeah, it. That was but broken. But when you do your official walkthrough and everything's working <laughs> right, that should ease your mind. It should, yeah. So these things aesthetically wouldn't bother me too much. Mm -mm. Uh, easy fixes, and at the end of the day, if you want an RV. You just gotta do it. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, you know, before you take it off the lot, all those things will be fixed, so. Yeah. B? I give it a B. All right, I'll roll with that. Yeah. I'll give it a B, too. Okay. Um, let us know in the comments what you think about the RV industry, about the build quality, mm -hmm. about what you're finding when you go to your dealership when you're searching for an RV. Yeah. Uh, leave us a comment, let us know what kind of things that you're finding. We'd like to see the major stuff. Tell us about the major stuff that you're finding at dealership. Because I think if it's a major thing, the dealership should bite the bullet and fix and it. Fix it before showing. Before showing it, because if something's major broken, I don't care if you say you're gonna fix it or not. Nobody. I ain't buying it, it unless you get a huge discount. Exactly. Which nowadays they're not, not coming off happen. of. Yeah. Anyway, it's leave us leave us a comment. Let us know and uh, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know, right down there in the description. See you next time. Bye. Bye.